so in the first part of core web vital masterclass so we will be resolving the first error which you may have incurred which is dev for off screen images okay so first thing you need to do is go to web.dev and slash measure or you can just uh, browse, navigate through the measure here here is the input box you need to enter your domain and run audit and after you run audit you will see matrices on the basis of four categories first is performance accessibility best practices and seo so we will be doing each and every part in this playlist so you better subscribe to this channel so if you haven't already just click that red button you will be able to see future videos in this particular channel so there's so much information we are giving away just for free so anyways let's get started so here is as you know the form performance of my website is 30 i deliberately did that to let you know or give you an overview how to actually solve such errors on your website so here first is the defer off screen images if you open that it's basically considering a load lazy loading off screen images and hidden images after all the critical resources have finished loading to lower time to interactive so what you need is to just add a lazy load plugin to your website as you if you are on the wordpress user there's a wp rocket plugin which i actually recommend you to please use that because it makes your life much easier and give your wordpress on steroid so i will be discussing that also let me tell you the structure of my website okay so if we go to the home webby.com the structure is this particular platform or webby.com is on custom coded script it's not any cms that are available there in the market it's personalized by me and my team and it has been coded just for to add some tools to it okay so this is a custom coded script and the blog section particularly is hosted or i would say is being used by the word and the blog section is being used the blog section of web is on wordpress so we use wordpress cms's on blog section so as you know so web.com is on custom script and the blog section is on wordpress so this is the whole structure of my website i know it's a bit complex but this helped me to resolve this error on the both side on the blog section also and on the home page also okay so i have audited this on the home page i have got terrible performance rating and in the first part it says defer off screen images and to resolve this it says defer always image delay of screen images okay we need to delay uh, images or lazy load those images to increase our first contextual paint and to do that uh, as we have these urls that we need to work on so to find those images on your web page if you have a knowledge of a basic html you may be able to do that without any hassle but if you don't have any knowledge so i may be assuming you are using a wordpress website and for the wordpress website what you need to do is go to your dashboard do login and install this wp rocket plugin i know it's a, it's actually the lightweight plugin and give everything you need to power up your website to hold another level wp rocket plus imagify is my favorite plugin because my imagify convert my images to the webp which is a next gen format reduces my images sizes to almost 80 percent and there's a wp rocket plugin it just amazing because obviously if you know any cache plugin then you sh should be using this particular plugin because i have been testing this on 20 plus clients of mine and it's working flawlessly so that's about it okay so go to the description or download from there or you can just download from the plugin repository and there you need to install this and after the installation what you need to do is go to the media here and here is the lazy load okay so you need to lazy load images on your website to make it defer the images or delay the images to load and to increase your first contextual paint so that's how you need to do is go to the media here's the lazy load so here is enable for images enable for iframe and videos if you have a iframe or videos on your website you can easily do that and here is image dimensions these are the options that you can go but the purpose of this video is to defer off screen images okay so that's how you need to do that so this particular plugin will handle all i would say 80 percent of your hassle now we are moving towards you know the ones who are not using wordpress if you are not using wordpress so i mean i assume you have some basic html knowledge and here i know this is my oh this is my home page and what you need is you need a lazy sizes plugin 
and how to use that plugin you just need to copy a code or uh, upload you just need to download the code which is mentioned in the description box and here is the lazy sizes you can search on the github just download from there also the minify version because it also decrease the size of that particular js so as you can see i have already uploaded it and as you can see in my view pages of my page i have already uploaded and linked in my footer and if we go to the footer section here is the script so you need to link that also let me tell you how you need to link that just copy it the code in the description box onto your website so here is the footer just before the closing body tag you need to add the plugin okay and here is you need to add just copy this particular plugin and add it on your website just before the closing body tag just like this so that's how you need to add the code okay so this will add the lazy load functionality on your website and help to lazy load images on your website okay and the next part what you need to do is go to the major section here so as you can see there are these images that has been needed to be lazy load okay and we need to add an class of lazy load plus we need to rename the rename that tag to data source why we need to do that as we see go to the learn more link here and go to this lazy load of screen images with lazy sizes code lab and if we go there as you can see just scroll down to here you are maybe wondering why it is necessary to change attribute to data source if this attribute is not changed all the size all the images will load immediately instead of being lazy load so you need to add this particular tag or attribute to your images to make it working so what you need to do just go to your index page and wherever page you have been working on right now so i am working on my main.php let me just search for it yeah here is the code of my main.php so i will be searching for this particular file name okay just to be assured ux plus add seo and let me search for it ux okay so this is about the blog recent item and if we see go down to the item name yeah this is the item name so this is a custom code that has been fetching content from the blog section which is on the wordpress so there is a custom script we have been using so let me search for the blog here so i know it's yeah is the blog recent description so this is custom script we are using and as i can see let me just as i can see this is the code which is fetching my blog from the blog section and what you need is i need to change this particular code why because it this is particular code is fetching the thumbnail from my blog section as you can see this is the image source this code is fetching the thumbnail from the blog section and i what i need to add is we need to add as data source to fetch the image and i need to add a class class of lazy load just like that and let me just cross verify it if i am using it correctly yeah or you can just copy from here as you can the same as you can see sample code here all the link i will display in the description box let me just paste down here and click save so this has been saved so first you need to add a lazy sizes plugin into your footer and afterwards you need to add it on your script or the audit you have been running so as you can see this must be resolved by now and i will run the audit again just wait a minute or two it will take time to run it so let's see if we are able to resolve this defer image part of core web vital okay so the results are here the performance has been increased to 46 and if we just like we have using using as if we are doing correctly here is our defer of screen images has been shifted to the images section and let's just open that as you can see all the those code has been deleted from there and now we have left with this particular code as i can see this is this code is from my latest reviewer okay and to add the same to them we need to open that main php again and let's search for a uh, recent so here's the recent sites and um, there has been uh, svg code to it let me just find the image yeah here is the image ajax snap and if we just verify it to yeah ajax snap so it is using ajax to actually create a screenshot of that particular website so what i've been doing is adding a data source to it and as a class just paste that lazy load and click on save 
and I have been using AA panel and it's actually solved my 90% of my headache downloading from FTP and doing stuff on the FTP and on your computer because it's all old school and in the new you have to move along with the current pace of uh, technology so I suggest you to use this AA panel it is such an amazing software or control panel for your web hosting okay so this should be resolved by now so all those snaps are going to resolve and the next is this particular image SEO 6 SVG let's search for this so I need to add data to it and in the class section class lazy load click on save so I think it will resolve the same so all these snaps are already done and in the next section is devices.svg yeah here it is so let me add a data to it and go for adding a class to lazy load and just click on the save let's see on uh, next image which is seo4 svg it's the same there you go and there's a two okay so i need to add on all these images let me search for all this yeah here it is make sure you type it correctly otherwise you will get a weird error on your website so let me add it on all these images so five is done okay six is done so there's a technology to it there is this data source adding a lazy load to it there's another and there's another just click on it let's see if there's another so there is a logo one logo two logo three logo two eight and let's search for the logo one and i'm pretty sure it's all there so yeah it's actually all there so let me just add data to all and lazy load let me add lazy load to all just like that and data source to all that's about it go to the measure again so i think that will do the job and let's run the audit again and let's see the results should be the positive okay so the results are in as you can see those defer images error has been gone so we have all finally worked that so i hope you learned something from this video and if you have just click on the like button and if you want to learn it with me about rest of the core web written and how to resolve them then you should click on the subscribe button and if you want to share it to your colleague then you use you should use the share button so see you in the next video until then bye bye